Hello and welcome back to my channel, Anshika Goel Illustrator, and it's time to level up your illustrations. So today we are going to learn how to make beautiful illustrations of sequin fabric on coral draw. Yes. So we are going to do it in coral draw and we will gonna uh, drape a very flary and beautiful gown with a lot of folds arising there and the fabric will be of maroon sequin. So yeah, let's get started. But before that, hold on. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe, like, share and comment. So let's start. Let me share my screen with you. So here are two reference picture. Let me just put on my specs. So here are two reference picture. One is this and another one is this. So what we are going to do is we are going to make the bodice part, this lace, this sherry thing of uh, this transparency of this image and the flary part of this image. So we are going to make it in two parts. So for that, firstly, make the bodice area. Let's zoom. And yeah, fill this crocky with a perfect skinny color, whatever you want. Um, let's just say this one. Or let's choose more color if you want to do so. This one is perfect. So on the face two, let's do this one color and done. Now let me make the bodice and it will because we are we are going to give this lace thing, the bodice and the flare thing. So we have to construct it into three parts, in three shapes basically. Now convert to curve. And it's a sweetheart neckline lying from here. Drag one node to here. Drag another node to here. Okay. Zoom or zoom in. And let's see. Make this knot to here. This to here. And this knot to here. And we need to make it sharp, bit sharp, like this. And so from here also, drag it and delete the knot to make it sharp. A bit space and here. Then let's increase it to this much. After that, we will do our lace part, that cheery thing that we have to add, the net fabric basically. So let's do one thing. For that, make another circle and make it two, three again for better. Sorry, not three. Let's make it two. 1.5 for better visibility. Convert to curve and make one knot here, another um, here, another here. here delete the knot the line this curve should be very smooth so you should keep this in mind this should be very smooth then one line here one line here now we what we are going to do is we have to make insert a net fabric here So we have to make it to perfect shape for that. Let's make this bodice part in the front of layer. 
and select both the objects and do trim so now it is perfectly trimmed right you can just check in this picture as well now the bottom part of our gown we we need to do in this flary this much flary so make a big circle control q make the line of 1.5 and start your flares make the bottom part first make the bottoms and make one knot to here then make more and more flares and more i think this much is good do it step by step all right so i think this much flare is enough for us so now we have to join it from the beginning so zoom make the proper shape from above like one from one side it is flary and from another it's very straight so we don't need that make the beginning here add it here so what we are going to do is make the above two sections as one object group them and then make it to the front part order and front layer so what we will gonna do is if we select both the objects and trim sorry one second so this is one and this is another thing so ungroup it again ungroup and let's do one thing select the top area and this thing and let's just trim so what happened our flare has been connected to the above part so here are differences arising control z and shift this line till the waist all right so again from the top to bottom let's just select and trim so now it's perfectly trimmed the next step is download any fabric or whatever color or uh, whatever texture you need so i have downloaded this from the internet and you can check that uh, always go for the picture which doesn't have fold because we do if the picture will be containing a lot of folds the swatch is containing fold then when we will power clip that into our illustration the effect will come very messy so it will not be uh, a proper illustration so for better convenience always go for a simple plain fabric picture so let me remove the watermark and yeah make a replica always i have done so starting from the top power clip inside container add it contents and finish editing this label so i think i should just decrease the size of our sequin so let me just decrease it to this much now it's perfect and make more and more copies as well effects power clip inside container added contents and let's just check where it is here finish editing this label done
also remove the hairline none now it's good after that uh, as we have taken the reference of above part with this picture so here you can see the sheerness so how will it going to appear uh, take the color eye dropper tool choose any color from this not the dark one but the red one yeah now from uh, the last fifth option here there are a lot of options arising here blend contour distort drop shadow envelope extrude and transparency so we have to select transparency then from the above section come to uniform transparency and now it has become the it become transparent so you can increase this transparency or decrease or you can just manipulate it according to your preference actually so i am keeping it to here this much this much is enough for me then uh, i have to power clip this in the lehenga the skirt the gown basically so one second hold on effects power clip place inside container and place added contents so here is a bit of task that we have to make a lot and lot of copy over here so let's just make copy then here make copy copy above and copy now what you should do select all these copies and then write replicate it also flip it because you can see here is a darker thing and is a bit less darkness over here so the difference is very clear we don't want to create any difference over here so that's why we did it again make a copy in the left and flip now finish editing this label so what we have got is a very flared gown now we have to add detailing likes like you can see there's a outline over here with the sequin fabric so it's not necessary that you have to make it with the sequin one but yeah so so from here you can see so after zooming here you can see there's outline so make it to none or you can simply do one thing don't make it to none uh, let's just select the color dark but because we have make it made it transparent we don't want that so do it none only then take the pencil pencil tool and from here select from here 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 is the point of it not much but still too then shape it very fine line and also keep smoothing it now 
now move it from here here and you will get the arrows for vitamin it's perfect so once it is ready now it's ready so fill the maroon color in it pick up any color from the apple section and shape it again and select the top part order and do front of the layer you can see there is a awkward angle arising over here let's shift that So you can check what ha we have done so far this much. Now you can see uh, it is looking very flat because the folds aren't created yet. So for folds, let's make some circle. Let me make one circle and fill it with red color only. This red, proper red. the hairline none and control Q let's start shaping that according to our folds so on the end of each and every fold let's shape it to the waist wherever the folds are beginning so this is one fold now again choose the transparency tool and do it uniform wow a great sheerness has arise and let's now it's perfect so we will gonna replicate it and again shape it again and again in different ways like this is the beginning so let's just start from here Then again, second, third, fold, whatever you have to do it this way only. You can change the shapes according to your preference, according to the flares as well, or you can just copy it from the picture. much and keep replicating it keep replicating it like taking another one and freezing it then and making it to here shaping it again to here So 
you can check the difference that has uh, that is arising in the right as well as left portion the left portion is totally fulfilled with holes and effects but the right portion is very flat so this is the difference and then you can do one thing if the left portion is done you can simply replicate it select all replicate it flip it and you will get this much you can simply change the shape Shape or let's select one again. Replicate. Now it's totally fine. It's perfect, and you have to check if any line or any shape is coming out of the box, or you have to keep a check on there. And this much is done. So this is how we will create our flared gowns, or we have to give effect on of our food. So if you keep doing this, this, and this, let's export it to JPG. And yeah, there's one method you can just add the hairstyle like the way. Let me show you. Let me tell you. So for hairs, let's do one thing. Female one P N G. So you will get a PNG file over here for the bunch. So if I select this one, copy, and again paste it here. Control V. I just paste, and it has appeared. Now let's just trace and edit. So what we are going to do is outline trace and trace line art. So we have got this line art, and let's just make it to size of its head. This much is done. Now we just have to. We just have. To Make it to PNG format, and if you want to do the lines of the crotchy as well, you can just do it to none here, or you can make it to hairline. Delete this, and yeah, convert it into JPG format. So this is how we will do our illustration on Corel Draw, and this is the easiest, easiest method. So if we will check the 
the detailing everything over here and that is perfect the flares are totally visible if we zoom in so let's check let's just check the lace part is very visible the flares is totally good they are arising well and if you want to add any other hairstyle you can do that too uh, let's just rotate this a bit and also let's just increase the size of it so now it's perfect and one thing export and it's always better to export it in jpg or png format so that what happen if you want to add any background behind that you can easily do so export and let me just show you what we have got till now hold on for a second let me show you share the picture with you yeah so this is what we have this is what we have done in the illustration so one thing to keep in mind drape well choose your fabric swatch well it shouldn't have any fold or anything arises that is not applicable for your garment and uh you should have a command on your shapes on your shaping that is very important and at last you have to check if any line or any shape is not coming out of the illustration that's it so do practice this at home and do practice this in your way in different garment in di with different fabric style whatever thank you so much for watching keep loving keep supporting if you haven't subscribed then please do subscribe and stay tuned